In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these uh, five options with the help of the clouds and the ladders. As you can see here, this is the option one where a person is climbing the option one. You can add some text here, then goes to the option two, option three, four and five. So you can see here I've added the platform with some different color combinations. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the first option which is rectangle, draw a small rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then make sure to align center align middle and i'm going to add one more rectangle at the right or you can add it to the left so press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to give some different color to it and reduce the width of it okay maybe this much width and i'm going to place it next to this big rectangle the next thing which i'm going to do is add two more shapes here so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a right triangle draw a small right triangle here shape outline make it no outline and then rotate i'm going to make it flip vertical and make sure that the size should be equal to this one all right so with the help of this one you can see here if i reduce it is not the line is not coming that the guiding line okay so i'm going to keep like that and let me just reduce the height now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl shift key and drag it up so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape and this shape and i'm going to merge it and later on i'm going to select this shape and this one i'm going to subtract it so let's do that one First select this blue rectangle, hold the shift key, select the bottom right triangle, go to the merge shape and select union. So I end up getting a shape like this. Then I'm going to select the shape by holding the shift key, the, the top right triangle, merge shape and make it subtract. So I end up getting a shape which looks something like this. All right. Again, if you want to reduce the size, you can just simply reduce it also. The same thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate or replicate to the right side. So hold the control shift key, drag it to the right. So it looks something like this and go to rotate and I'm going to make it flip horizontal. All right. Then to give a 3D look, I'm going to insert one rectangle here. You can see here, I'm going to insert one rectangle and shape outline, make it no outline. Let me just give some different color and send this to back so you can see here i got a shape which looks something like this now let's give the proper colors here so right mouse click and go to the format shape and i'm going to give some different color combinations for example i'm going to the more colors standard i would like to give a kind of a yellow for the center and here i'm going to give some more dark color so go to the more colors and maybe i'm going to choose this color click ok here i'm going to choose the same color with the help of this recent colors i can choose and here i can just give some more darker color so maybe i'm going to use this one click ok so you can see here i got a shape which looks something like this so let me just go to the uh, fit to slide all right it's already fit to slide so let me just select all the shapes press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and reduce the size so i end up getting a shape which looks like this and i'm going to add one shape here in the center you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one shape here press ctrl d one more shape here and press ctrl d one shape here and one more here which is somewhat top you can see here and now for me it's easy for me to just change any color of my choice so i'm going to choose this one go to the more colors and i'm going to give maybe a teal color 
or the turquoise color whichever color so let me just give this color and here I'm going to give more darker colors you can see here and here at the bottom more darker color so again go to the more colors and maybe I'm going to give this one so you can see here I gave this color combination so you can just change any color depending on your requirement and then one more thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color for that I'm going to select the gradient fill I have given two gradient stops here one is you can see here this light blue color and here kind of a blue gray color any combination you can just give it here all right so once this is done we need to add some text and some more options or some more objects so let's add some text here so go to insert text box and i'm going to type title all right make it bold center align make it bold again if you want you can just choose any font i'm going to use open sans uh, extra bold and if you want you can just give the color as white i'm going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate add it one by one for each options and remember you need to change the color of these options all right so i'm just pressing ctrl d duplicate and then i'm going to add it here then here on the right side or the left side you can just add some more options here for example i'm going to make it zero one all right so i'm going to put it here press ctrl d to duplicate this will come here all right so just add one by one by pressing ctrl d and you can align it as well so this will be my option number two this is option number three option number four and option number five all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add some clouds to it for that go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes i can see the cloud here select the cloud just drag a little bit cloud shape like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make this as white and you can go to the sh effects shadows and give some uh, offset bottom okay shadow effect select this one press ctrl d i'm going to add one here press ctrl d and I'm going to add towards this side at the bottom press ctrl D for here and ctrl D for this side all right select all the clouds by using the shift key and then select and send to back all right so you can see here I've added the uh, sh the, the clouds also here then so go to insert text box I'm going to insert equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket one some long text I don't need this much long text so I'm going to delete something out of this center align reduce the font size and I'm going to put it here press ctrl D to duplicate add the text of your choice so I'm just going to random I'm just randomly adding some text here so you can just replace the text with your own text press ctrl d and you can see here it's done so the next thing which is i'm going to add is to add a ladder here for that go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle here draw one rectangle here small shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it white let me just zoom in you can see here and hold the control shift key and add the another rectangle then using the small rectangles i'm going to draw the steps so insert again rectangle small rectangle draw a small rectangle shape outline no outline again white color now select this one hold the control shift key add sorry let me just undo and add you can see here yeah and then i'm going to select this option only the ladder and press ctrl g to group it all right and for this also you can give some shadow effect 
all right so now press ctrl d to duplicate the shadow uh, the, uh, the ladder and add one by one to it so i'm going to add here press ctrl d one here and this one i have to move it more closer actually so that i can add one more ladder here the ladder size is small i can just increase it you can see here i can just increase like this all right so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease again if you want to reduce the size you can just reduce also okay so you can see here we have added the effects we have added the titles the shadows and everything and if you like to add some icons you can go to insert icons here i'm going to select the icon of a person so let me just type person here all right so i can just choose maybe this option all right and one more i would like to use this one and click on insert icons got inserted so this particular icon i would like to add it somewhere at the top reduce the size this man is here and for this we can reduce the size as well and then just put it like this so that he is going up the ladder all right so it looks something like this again depending on the requirement you can change the colors you can add more options you can do some basic animation effect to it so you can uh, free to do uh, as much changes as you want